So this week I want to do a short video. I want to do a short video on the idea that something is unacceptable and nothing you do is going to change it. This idea that uh, we were talked a few weeks ago, what do you do when you're stuck? Well, there's a particular thought that runs through my head that's really helped me to change a lot. And uh, it's really helped me to change a lot when I started to acknowledge it. And that's that this is unacceptable. This is not going to change. And, and uh, when I started to study German new medicine, the term they used there was this is undigestible. So this is undigestible. This is unacceptable. I am not going to change this. There's, if this doesn't change, then I will never be happy. That kind of attitude. And I want you to sit with this idea for a minute. A lot of what keeps this idea in power when something won't change or something won't shift is this simple is the, is the idea that you won't acknowledge that it's unacceptable, undigestible. You won't acknowledge that you are not going to change this. Matter of fact, the, the moment you start acknowledging it and giving the unacceptable energy permission to be, this undigestible energy, this stuckness, you really begin to have a different conversation with yourself. You begin to move in a new direction. So let's play with this idea for a minute. If you have something that's really stuck in your life or an area of your life that's not growing, that's not opening, um, and it's still not opening, even after we did that uh, video a couple weeks ago on being stuck, I want you to take this one and I want you to welcome the exact thoughts that are going on in your head. Just sit and welcome them for a minute. What are they? What are you hearing? This is unacceptable. This has to change. I won't be happy if this doesn't change. This will never change. I will always be X, I will always be Y. And just be with that for a bit. And notice what that feels like. And can you welcome all the thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensations that come with that? I mean, literally, look at all the images and thoughts and feelings, whatever comes up naturally, without forcing. And just be with that for a little bit. And then notice again, what your thoughts are around this. As you look at those thoughts, feelings, sensations, and emotions, are they changing? Are they the same? Are they getting louder? Maybe they're getting worse. Because as you look at it, you might be going, this is really unacceptable. I am not changing this. This hurts. You might be experiencing intensifications where it gets more painful. And if that's happening, can you welcome that too? Intensifications are it coming up and out of your body. So sit with it for a little bit. Just be with it. And notice what that feels like. And then notice all the thoughts, feelings, sensations, and emotions that come with that. Is there any part of you that's making this experience right or wrong, good or bad? That it has to change or else? And just notice what that feels like. And now I want you to ask yourself, can you just let this go? And I don't mean you let go of the whole problem. Maybe you do. Maybe that's the question and boom, you let it go. Can you let go of the concept of everything we're talking about and just relax for a moment and allow your heart to open as much as it will? Just let it all go. And just relax. Can you welcome the idea of love or openness or relaxation in its place? Beingness. And now let's go back to the idea that this is unacceptable. Can you welcome again, whatever this thing is that's unacceptable, can you welcome it up again? Can you hear the thoughts? Is it still unacceptable? Is it the same thoughts? Are they more intense, less intense? Just notice what you're feeling. Notice what you're hearing. Notice where you feel it in the body, what um, uh, images and sensations are coming up, and just be with that for a little bit. And then let yourself feel it, let yourself ride it, like a surfer rides a wave. If it gets more intense, ride that. Less intense, ride that. You can handle it. It's just a feeling. It's just a sensation. Good, good. Now notice if your mind is, again, trying to do anything with this or about it. If your mind's trying to fix it, trying to change it, trying to do something with it, trying to make it acceptable when you really want it to be unacceptable for a little bit, and just be with that whatever it's doing, and just observe it. There's no right or wrong here. Perfect. Now, again, can you just let it go? Can you just relax and ask your heart to open? This time, ask your stomach to open. And just be with this feeling of openness for a second as you just let it go. I'm not saying you're letting go of the whole problem. Maybe you are. But can you just move away from it and look at 
more beautiful feelings or sensations. Ask your heart to open and welcome any sense of love, appreciation, joy, or gratitude. And just be with that for a moment. And then ask your heart to open more. And ask your heart to open more. And even a bit more. See if you can feel the whole room with your heart. And now one more time, let's go back to this topic so unacceptable. And notice if it's changing again. Is it getting more intense, less intense? And just welcome it. Welcome this feeling of unacceptableness, of stuckness, of the I am not going to be happy unless, and just feel it. See the, the situation. See all the thoughts and the images and the feelings that come with it. And just be with them for a moment. And notice what that feels like. Notice if there's any intensifications or if it's loosening. Notice if the words are changing. Notice if there's any part of you judging it, making it right or wrong, good or bad. And just ride that for a bit. And allow it to be as intense as it is. Or if it's getting looser, allow it to loosen as it is. Whatever it's doing, just observe and be with it. You can handle it. It's just a feeling. Even if you're judging it. Now one more time, let it go completely and just move your heart in a new direction and ask your heart to open as much as it does. For me, I often see a sunset and I just feel love and appreciation for the beach and the sunset or my old puppy that passed away. I loved her to death and just feel my heart open to her. And then often I just let the image go and I'm just sitting there with the love and the appreciation as I let go of whatever was bothering me. And I just sit with that feeling of love. And now just go back one more time to this feeling of stuckness, this unacceptableness, and hear that thinking again. This is unacceptable, I'm not gonna change. Maybe the thinking has changed altogether to, you know, this is no big deal. But whatever you're experiencing it, I want you to truly honor it, to observe it. And then I want you to notice what your mind's doing about it. Is your mind trying to change it, fix it, shift it, in any way, shape, or form? Just notice that feeling. Is your mind judging it? Notice that feeling. Is your mind making it right or wrong? Again, like I said. And just feel that. Just observe that. All the thoughts and images and sensations. And I want you to sit with this for a little bit. Just like a meditation. Now the thoughts may change. They may evolve. It may get more intense, less intense. Just keep welcoming it. And asking your heart to open in the midst of whatever this thing is that's unacceptable. And just be there with it, with your heart open, experiencing it. You can handle it. I want you to realize you have the courage and the strength and the decisiveness to handle it, to be there with it, to sit there with it, to flow with it. And then be there with it a little bit more and a little bit more. And just keep hearing the thoughts, whatever's coming up, and even be there with it more. And then now I want you to notice any way that it's changing from the beginning of this video today. In any way, shape, or form that's changing. And just welcome that. And now just let it go. Let it go again and come back to the open-hearted love and just notice how much you can let it go. And just open your heart and feel the space around you with your heart. Be with that space. Relax into it as much as you can. You can come back to this thing later if it's even still there. You might find that the more you go back and forth, the more you're just starting to experience love for this thing. And instead of it being difficult, it starts to be easy and fluid more and more. So now just welcome that love and open your heart to the whole room. Feel the room, feel the love, feel the appreciation, feel the joy. And just allow yourself to be as much as you are. And then just let it all go. Let it all go and notice how you're feeling. Now that's a simple release for something that's unacceptable. And sometimes things are really stuck and I have to do that a lot. I had something recently where I had to sit with it, you know, on and off throughout the whole day, but it eventually started to change. 
And then the miraculous thing, if you do it long enough, you do it because the, the, the heavy stuff that's down in apathy takes the longest to change. The light stuff's easy. You can change that fast and you're going to get better and better at changing that stuff with time. But as you deal with this heavy stuff, this is where some real power gets reclaimed. It takes a while to break free, but when it does, you can really shift. And what used to be really painful, you can eventually feel love for. You can re eventually really truly feel appreciation and joy for. Matter of fact, what was a problem becomes a power in your life. You know, you start to feel this resistance to, maybe you're resistant to women, to dating, and you have this pain around them. And eventually you start to slowly, by doing this a little bit more each day and looking at what's unacceptable, you start to feel this sense of acceptance for women. And then you start to feel this sense of appreciation and it's eventually love and, and joy for them. And you wonder why you were ever angry at them in the first place. Matter of fact, your depth of love can be equal to the depth of pain you were feeling. But on the other side, it actually shifts. The whole polarity shifts and you go free of it. So just let this idea sit in. And I wanted to make it really, really simple. It was just back and forth. Like I, last week, I, I believe, or a few weeks ago, I did a video that was more complex, with more Im imagery. This one's very simple. And this is ultimately what releasing is. It's the ability to move back and forth between ideas teaching your body to reassociate better and better lighter and lighter feelings with something that used to be painful until you can look at it and just feel your heart blast wide open with love and appreciation which then allows the subconscious mind and the, and the mind conscious mind to see solutions to what used to seem impossible to fix so if you're ready to really shift this area of your life and you want a big change in this area then uh learning revealing and releasing is one of the most powerful things you can do and we've got a revealing and releasing uh, course coming up uh, in Miami in July. And I highly recommend you check that out. Learn more about it. Uh, check out that course. It's going to be a seminar. And uh, I would love to go through all the principles, all the different emotions, the subtle emotions, and really give you a foundation to radically shift your life from this point forward and, and really forever. Because once you get a hold of this, you won't need me anymore. You could do this stuff on your own and radically shift your life. I can give you pointers and ideas, but you'll see what used to kind of work is gonna work better and better and better, and it's gonna get stronger and stronger. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did and you know somebody that can use it, definitely share it with them. Definitely like, definitely subscribe, and definitely put some comments in the video. I definitely wanna hear your comments. And uh, with that said, remember, only the confident really live. And I'll see you in the next video.